Hi, I'm Susanna Trinka. I'm a social anthropologist at the University of Auckland, where my work focuses on embodiment and the politics of health. Hi, my name is Sharon Graham Davies and I'm an anthropologist working at Monash University in Australia. Most of my research is based in Indonesia, but during COVID-19, I've been working with Susanna on issues of care and social relationships. And so we wrote a chapter for the book, which is titled Blowing Bubbles. And in this chapter, what we did was we were really interested in the new metaphor that came to the forefront in New Zealand around um, discourses and also regulations around lockdown. And that's the metaphor of the bubble. So the bubble was initially intended to give us a way of talking about people living together outside of the traditional language of families and households. So for example, to allow for things like consideration of children who might move between one household and another. So they could do that without breaking a bubble. They could have the opportunity to move from one household to another, but remain within a bubble. What actually happened was that this language that was intended to be quite flexible, when you actually looked at how government and um, society in general spoke about bubbles, it tended to have several assumptions around what a bubble is. And so one of the things that we try and do in the chapter is to unpack these assumptions and to look at, in particular, the frequent um, reduction of bubbles to households. Now, why is this a problem? It's a problem because when you have regulations like only one person from a bubble can do the grocery shopping and you imagine situations where people are in flat shares, um, you might be living with someone that you are not particularly friendly with, that you don't particularly share money with, and yet only one of you can go and do the grocery shopping. Other areas where this became a problem was in relations of care, which Sharon will now talk about. Yeah, so in this chapter, we hope to convey three things. Uh, first, that the metaphor of the bubble was a really effective way of envisaging social relationships during lockdown. And second, while effective, the bubble metaphor made many assumptions that just did not map onto people's lived experiences. For instance, there was a general assumption that one's bubble would correspond essentially to a nuclear household. And third, we urge broader thinking about how care relationships might be better managed in future public health crises. So we hope you enjoy reading our chapter and the book, Kakite Ano.